Rebecca and welcome to stampingcatcrew.com. Today we're going to make this varied vases card. It actually has a coordinating bundle punch. So this is the stamp set and this is the bundle punch that comes with it. And everything's pretty straightforward. I've done memento ink for the black portions. I've pre-stamped the vase and one of the things I wanted to point out is when you flip this over and you've stamped an image, you want to kind of pay attention to the orientation and where it's at because sometimes you can end up stamping it upright needing to feed it this way and you end up stamping a bunch of paper that you didn't need to if you would have fed it this way so just something to keep in mind hopefully a little tip that helps somebody so super easy we just stamped the vase. I've actually pre-done some of the stamping from here. And I'm going to set the vase right here. And one of the things that I wanted to show is I have the stems that I did here. And I'm going to do those in the new color. It's soft sea foam. So this is the new style of ink pad. And I have seen all kinds of things on Facebook of people, because we're so used to the way that the old ones open, that you had to you know, slide and whatnot. These literally just flip up like a makeup compact. And you flip them all the way up, and then you can slide them closed. And it's a little tight um, until they've been used a bit. But literally, there are no little buttons on the ends. And so you shouldn't have to jump track. It's just lifting up like a makeup compact and then sliding. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to ink this up a bit with the sea foam. And I'm going to put my finger on the corner here. And I want this to be in the vase coming out and going over to the left there. And then that's it. So that's going to look like it's coming out, but we're going to pop this up, which is why I didn't attach it down right away. So that's the only thing that we're actually going to use the seafoam ink on. So flip that over and that's going to close really, really easy. The inside here is with the flirty flamingo. So that opens the same way. I'm going to add a little bit of the flamingo and it actually, because they are, photopolymer you can literally just see right through and it works great so same thing slide flip just like a makeup compact super easy I've got some colored pencils the watercolor pencils here and I'm actually just going to add a little bit from the blue lightly And primarily just staying inside the lines. I want to have some pretty color up to about the neck of the bottle. You can use a little bit of the blender pen, which gives it a nice look. And then what you don't want to do is go over the green stem and smear that. So I'm just going alongside that. I'm going to take one of our dimensionals here. I'm going to open this up and stick that there and take a little bit of snail adhesive to the back of this and then I actually had started one and had cat fur stuck on the, ins the um, photopolymer, part photopolymer part of my stamp. So as you can see, I actually flipped it over, which is fine because it's going to be against a black background, not popped up. And so that's not going to show at all. And basically we're just going to center that on there. I'm going to pop this off. And just lining up where that vase is, right there. So this is our base, it's an A2, and I've already added the white on the inside. And we're gonna do some of the seafoam green around the edge. So the first thing that I do is I add adhesive all the way around the four corners, right here. And then the ribbon that I'm actually going to use today, if you haven't gotten your hands on this, please do. It's the polka dot tool ribbon, and it is 
so fun to play with. Um, it's actually kind of got this little, uh, I don't know what the right word would be, velvety kind of feel to the little polka dots. So super, super cute. Um, there is a right side and a wrong side on these, I believe. I think they go both ways, but to me, one side looks more puffed up. So maybe not, but if you just take and wrap that around, and you're just going to leave a little bit right at the edge, hanging out, add a little more adhesive, and then we're going to center that onto here. And then since the vase is popped up, I'm actually not going to pop up this portion. So I'm going to put the adhesive around these four corners. And basically centering this. Not really centering. I know that I'm going to have a knot over here, which is going to pull this over a little bit. Um, so it's, it is more to the right than to the left. I've actually cut two more pieces of this tool ribbon and I'm going to knot them at the same time. So I'm going to feed them underneath and then I'm going to make a knot of both of these together. And honestly, it's going to end up being um, longer than you think that it will. So I did four inches. You probably don't have to do that long. But especially for a class, sometimes people have a hard time or if somebody has some arthritis, it becomes harder to um, play with the ribbon like that. So otherwise, it's just a matter of prettying up the ends. And then you just got to decide which way you want that to be. And the final step is we have these really pretty little jeweled dots here and they've been floating around in my case so I'm trying to see they're faceted dots and they came in kind of these coordinating colors so I'm just gonna grab some paper snips I'm gonna take one of the small green ones and I'm gonna set it kind of over in the corner over here I'm gonna take one of the small black ones same thing and I'm gonna take one of the small of melon ones and that's it um, little pieces to go through it but honestly quick and easy card um, and just super cute just remember to make your envelope pretty all I did was take the flirty flamingo the soft sea foam and the black with the flowers that we did and that's it hopefully somebody got a good tip from it and happy creating have an amazing day